This is exactly how I use my tech stack and automation to be productive as a person who is very easily distracted. I've always had trouble starting tasks, especially when the novelty of doing them wears off. So when I became a personal trainer, my biggest mission was to get clients. But the hardest part for me was actually getting out onto the gym floor and starting talking to people. Once I was out there and talking to people, it was totally fine. But actually getting out onto the floor was my biggest obstacle. So what I found was my productivity gets absolutely shot if I'm not forced to act on something straight away. So I made up a rule with myself that I wasn't allowed to touch my phone. I wasn't allowed to go into the PT room until I had walked the floor for at least 45 minutes, not being able to be distracted by anything that I could potentially distract myself with. Now I'm going to share with you the exact system that I use to curb this. Well, at least to keep it at bay. For productivity, I use three main tools. ClickUp, Zapier, and Slack. And I've tried every single product management tool there is. Asana, Notion, Google Sheets, Notepads. Really big notepads. You name it, I've probably tried. And I didn't stick to any of them until I actually started using ClickUp. In all honesty, I think the user interface of ClickUp was just aesthetic and pleasing and functional enough for me to invest the time into actually using it. It's clean, it's intuitive, and has a really good capacity for automations. The biggest thing for me was finding a tool that I could use automation to create the task tasks on a consistent basis and organize it in a way that actually made sense to me. And ClickUp gives me that. But let's just get something really clear for a second. Having a certain tool, having a certain platform is not going to make you productive. It's about how you use it and keep yourself accountable to that tool. My first essential with ClickUp was how I actually set it up in the beginning. So I'm gonna quickly show you how I do it. I'm not gonna show you any client information. So in ClickUp here, you can see on the left-hand side, we've got our menu bar, and then there's just some growth work on the right-hand side. So if we look at spaces here, this is where ClickUp kind of organizes is everything and I've got two major spaces I've got growth work and I've got client work so in client work I have a folder for each one of my clients in growth work I have the main platforms that I'm working on growing right now so for me that's YouTube and email marketing and then if you look inside here I've got ideas and production and I can go through which which videos that I have in the pipeline and then in email marketing I've just got different emails that I've either sent out or I'm built now I hide tasks that have been completed so that I don't get confused and I don't get lost in and inundated with work uh, I like to keep it nice and clean and light. Now, the biggest thing for me with ClickUp was the fact that I could automate into it. So it's not so much the fact that I can have Kanban boards and all that kind of stuff. It's mainly the fact that I can use it to improve my work. And these are my three favorite automations into it. The first one starts in Zapier. And basically for certain clients of mine, I have tasks that I will complete every single month. So for this one, it's do email marketing. So every month on a certain day, which is the 28th of every month, it will create three tasks for each one of my clients. And and what it does is it creates that task inside my client folder for that person with the information that I need. Basically just says, create an email for them. Inside a Slack channel, it then sends a message to me saying it's time to write XYZ's email marketing. The second automation is basically every single week I create a new YouTube video. This creates a place for me in my confluence to then start writing the script for the video. So whenever I create a new task inside the YouTube folder, so in here, whenever I create something here, whenever I do that, it will then create a new page inside my Confluence that I can start writing my script. And my third favorite automation for this one is actually using Alfred to create tasks inside of ClickUp. So my third and favorite automation into ClickUp is actually using Alfred, which is basically a spotlight search on steroids if you're using a Mac. So all I really need to do is open up Alfred and he looks like this and I can write ClickUp because that's the shortcut name that I've set it up as. And then I can write task and then enter in the name of the task. So idea for YT video and then put a comma and then desk for description. It's a video. And then if I just press enter, we can have a look inside here. Then in this uncategorized list I have, you can see the information that I've put in. So basically if I send it a really quick note, I can, it goes into this uncategorized and then I just move it where it needs to go essentially. So if it's client work, I just move it into the client folder. If it's growth work, I move it to the growth section. Now these automations have something in common and it's basically, it just helps me achieve a simple task quicker. Instead of having to do my monthly tasks from ground zero, I'm starting at like step three or four because it's on auto. And instead of having to open ClickUp, I can just use Alfred to really quickly create a task. And if I'm in some deep focus or in deep work, I don't wanna be distracting myself too much from what I'm doing. And it's a really easy way for me to just piff information into the abyss and click up and Alfred are going to catch it for me. Now there's still a lot of tasks that I do manually as well. But as soon as I identify I'm doing something more than once, I will try my absolute best to put five to 10 minutes onto the end of that task 
and start automating it for the next time. Say for example, I create a YouTube video every single week. Once I have manually created that task in ClickUp, it creates my Confluence page, but I'm still creating that task manually. Instead of this, I'm gonna actually set up a Zap with you to create a new task every single Thursday morning, because that's when I start creating my videos to kick things off. So we're going to create a new Zap and we're going to use Schedule on a Thursday. We are then going to go into ClickUp in my workspace, knock on growth work, because that's for the section that I have my growth work in the folder YouTube. So already I have a automation set up that when this is gonna be created, it's going to run the second half of it. I can probably combine those two, but for now, I'm just gonna show you the example. I'm not gonna give it a template, but I'm gonna give it a task name. So it's going to be new video and then the date. And it's gonna be the description for the video is a new YouTube video and that's all. I'm just gonna press continue and I'm gonna skip the test because it's very simple. It doesn't really need to be tested. You can't really go wrong. And then I'm just going to press publish. Now you notice that this video is not really about automating everything. It's just getting myself a few steps ahead to take away the fact that I have to start a task. If it's already started for me, I feel like I've already got momentum and I can continue on where it's picked up. And it's more so how can you streamline that starting process and build it into your specific workflow? Because everyone's different. Now I did mention there were two extra tools that I use to increase my productivity and automate. First one is this, it is a timer. <laughs> so what I do before I sit down to work is I set a 90 minute timer and I put it on top of my phone. So it sets for 90 minutes and I press play, set it on top of my phone and it is there to stop me from picking up my phone because that's my number one biggest distraction. And since I have bought this, my screen time has gone down significantly, like 70%. So for me, in combination with all of the automations, with the platforms, everything, this has the best return on investment for me because it was like $20 on Amazon to increase my productivity. And the second one is these. So my AirPods Max noise cancelling and noise cancelling is the real hack here. So I notice I am infinitely more distractible when I can hear what's going on around me. I've got the dogs. Uh, when I'm working at the library, there's other people walking around. These block out that entirely. So I can just continue to work without having to think whatever is going on around me. And it makes such a difference. These two in combination with each other are fantastic. But the main thing is if you find yourself doing a task frequently, you probably can automate it. So at least look at taking one or two steps off your plate. And you, if you think about it, it may only take one to two to three minutes off your plate. But if you're doing that daily and you tally that up, say you do it five times a week and it's two minutes a task, that's 10 minutes a week. It's 40 minutes a month, it's 480 minutes a year. It doesn't seem like much, but it really helps me move forward. So I've actually put together a five steps to unscramble your business brain guide. Uh, which is just my five biggest automation and productivity tips for business owners. And the first one, as you can see, is download Slack. I'm gonna explain why in that. Um, I put a lot of effort into it, so hopefully you find it valuable. Uh, but if you run a business, I think it would be valuable to start thinking about the things that you can automate. And I go through this in pretty, pretty significant detail. So yeah, download it if you wanna use it. Have a great day, bye.